Welcome. This is uh, Mentor Generations with Teacher Angie. For those who do not know me, that is me, my teacher, by the way. And uh, today, I think uh, <laughs> I wanted to tell you some true Swahili words now that I'm learning Swahili in the process. Eh? A subscriber is Mteja. So when I say Mteja, just know subscriber. Mteja Mpendwa is dear subscriber. I love like nitafuta kwa nini kwa Google translation from English to Swahili so like niliambiwa nijiandikishe sasa mimi naomba tafadhali jiandikishe kwenye channel hili okay ili tuweze kuendelea pamoja I'll begin self physiology this is uh, part 3 of uh, techniques of tackling biology paper 3 exam and in self physiology most learners don't communicate correctly in this area. Partly because of the technicalities that come with the kind of plant specimens that are used in the lab that, by the way, are in the syllabus anyway, so no mistakes there. But transferring that knowledge now into what is expected is where the, there is a mismatch of sorts there. So in... Uh, Plant and water relations, for example, uh, this is where how osmosis works with plants, plant cells. Then there are two options. There is a, when the plant cell is placed in distilled water or hypotonic solutions, we expect four things to happen. First, the plant is going to gain water by which process osmosis that's important you must note that and the overall Im impact of that is to swell what causes swelling the swelling is caused by movement of water from cell to cell in the plant tissue remember because what we are pro what we provide you in the lab are tissues not cells and the fourth thing that will happen is the, pl the plant tissue will become turgid, not the cells. The other, uh, the other option, the other scenario is where the plant cell is placed in a hypertonic solution or a sugar or salt solution. And four things will happen. The opposite of the other one, that is the plant cell will lose water by which process of osmosis it the overall impact of that is to shrink and tissue becomes flaccid. Like I said before, in the lab, tissues are issued. They can be tissues of plant parts like stem, leaf, pieces of fruit, even root. We don't give cells in the lab. Remember, cells are microscopic. Cells are tiny. We, we give tissues, all right? So it's important that when you get such questions, then... You communicate, you communicate in the right way. You communicate the right biological information in your answering. And I think this is one of the reasons students fail when it comes to the expectations of uh, them in this topic because of that mismatch. So that needs to be corrected and rectified from your end as a student. If your teacher hasn't uh, exposed that knowledge to you, then take it from me. It's going to help you. However, there are certain terms also that are expected of you in this topic or in your explanations of how some of these uh, processes take place. One, if you're given a strip, for example, say uh, a strip from probably maybe a raw popo peel or raw popo, then you would say if the plant cell is placed in, hypertonic solution or distilled water then the overall effect would be that the strip becomes these are the terms to use listen up firm or hard or rigid many times the Kenya national exam expects such terms to be used so and uh, the word becomes strong is rejected so use those words in your answering and uh, the other scenario when the strip is placed in a hypo, hypertonic solution this time a salt or sugar solution then uh, the strip would become soft or 
flexible or flabby. The word weak is rejected. The word weak is rejected. And the other thing to note is ontogenity and flaccidity. They cannot be observed. What, 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 what? These are the states of, of, of cells in those scenarios. So it's important to take note for that or of that. In accounting for these ones, never miss. You will always be asked to account for the observation that you have had in the strips that you are given, or in the parts of plants, or in the parts of fruits that you're given as specimen to use in uh, these experiments. And in accounting for the expectation is observation, giving the observation and the biological reason. Now, this is how you go about it. If the strip becomes hard, as I had given in the other example, in a case where it is placed in a hypotonic solution, then uh, it does so because the cells of the strip absorb water by osmosis, swells, and becomes turgid. Turgidity is a net effect of the net effect of turgidity is what gives the hardness. Okay, take note of that now. Uh, the other scenario is the strip becomes soft because the cells of the strip lose water or lost water by osmosis, shrink, and becomes flaccid. Take note, it is the cells we are talking about. The cells of what? Of the strip. We are not saying the strip lost water. We are saying the strip becomes, uh, uh, the strip is the one, the cells of the strip are the ones that lose water which is what, uh, by osmosis, which is what causes the shrinking and then the state of, of the cells becoming flaccid. I hope that is noted so that you don't suffer from not scoring in this area, which is a very, very important area, a very, very commonly tested area, which I, as a teacher, desire that you score more on because they are easy to score as long as you follow the rules laid down. So I hope this information is helpful. I think it is helpful. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Share these videos with your friends, with your classmates, even with your teachers and family. Otherwise, kwa hayo machache, mimi ni nashukuru sana, wateja wangu wapendwa. Na basi kama bado ujalai, kama ujajiandikisha, tafadhali jiandikishe, nipe thumbs up pale, do tuendele kusoma pamoja. Asante ni, ah, the next video is going to be on drawing, the drawing skills in biology, paper three. Look out for that. Goodbye.